open this up. These are where all my main tools are stored. I got a Velcro block set, 3M brand. Use that almost every day. And I also have a Dura block block set. Got a straight line sander. Got a power drill right here. And these are mostly all air power tools. Got a 90 degree grinder right here. This here's a cutoff wheel. Got an impact, taking off wheels, doing bumper jobs. Got an air hammer right here. Forget the name of this, but this is nice for making holes bigger. Right here I got a couple Harbor Freight ratchets, air powered of course. Got some earmuffs, always important to protect your ears. Got another ratchet, another ratchet, and this is one of my older cutoff wheels. Got this from Menards, it, it works alright, but uh, my Ingersoll cutoff wheel, that's the one to go for. Cuts anything like butter, it's awesome. And then right down here, I got just miscellaneous stuff. Got some dry guide coat. Got some blades ready to go down here. Uh, paint tip right there. Paint gun tip for primer. Got spreaders, grinder discs. Got some knives for when I prep for paint. A little level right there. Got a white pencil, blower, some accessories that came with my air power tools. And I just got markers, whatnot, knife, and then just more accessory pieces to tools that I already have. And then in here, I keep extra spreaders. Got glasses, important to protect your eyes. Got a light, gloves, tape measure. Always important to have that. And then I got my Milwaukee electric ratchet right here. This thing's awesome. I've had it almost a year now. It's held up pretty great. And then this is my Zingdi electric ratchet. I had this for a year and it finally took poop on me. I got it from eBay for 40 bucks and it came with two chargers, or I'm sorry, two batteries and a charger. So it was kind of worth it just to try it out. Oh, and then I have a long sanding block back there only used that a small handful of times. Gotta go ahead and put this back here. Almost forgot to mention, I have these 3M wireless Bluetooth headphones. These things are awesome. Highly recommend you get yourself a pair if you're in this field or you work in a crazy loud environment. They're awesome great to listen to music or whatever you want to listen to while you're on the job getting stuff done on to my next drawer that's where I keep screwdrivers um, got the Phillips pointed this way and the flatheads pointed that way and I got some drill bits got a small little socket set I got from uh, Walmart kind of cool I use it quite often I got some more bits in here got t-handle and just got miscellaneous stuff right there got a test light got some uh, some little sanding um, man I, I'm blanking out on what it's called just some little I'm gonna call them standing sticks don't don't hate on me now <laughs> and then these are for my air-powered hammer what's up bro In this drawer, this is where all the magic happens for the cars I need to be worked on. Got myself a couple trim removal tools right here. I use these ones the most. 
especially these two right here. These are all Harbor Freight, and most of my tools are from Harbor Freight. Got some snips right here. Got a little rivet gun here. Gone through a couple rivet guns. I haven't used this one too much. It's an Aero Branch from Home Depot. Um, just a couple pick tools, trim removal tools. Got this from Menards, I believe. Um, got these from Harbor Freight for working on older vehicles. Did a lot of that when I was at Mako. Then I got some alignment tools. These are great for aligning metal panels. That's pretty much all that's going on in this drawer. This drawer right here, not too much going on. Got welding gloves. I don't ever weld here. I did a little welding at Mako. And then I got some big old clamps for catch panel jobs and rocker jobs and whatnot. In here, got my, my respirators. Got a bag that I just use if I wanna work on something at home put my stuff in it and go got my DA right here I got this from a tool shop uh, off of 8 mile in Grand River up in Michigan um, I think it's a Chicago pneumatic brand DA and then this is a power power MX or whatever it is from Home Depot lasts me about a year it doesn't really work all too well I use it to strip panels if I need to strip something, so it's kind of nice to have. Then here's my bolt of mis or here's my bin of miscellaneous bolts and clips and whatnot. Let's start up here again. Up here, I mostly just have a bunch of wrenches. Got one adjustable wrench. I spray paint all my stuff that way I can know what tools are mine. I don't ever really use these. I don't think I've ever used them, actually. These are quite handy. These are really nice to have. Got some glue, sandpaper, more sandpaper. Got little cups in here to keep bolts in and whatnot. This is a very commonly used drawer. Another one of my most popular drawers that I use. Got all my sockets, got a couple wrenches. I got metric and SAE. Use metric the most, because that's pretty much what a lot of cars call for. Uh, sometimes use the SAE. Ford likes to throw in random bolts that require that. And I got my star point, got Torx. Got my impact sockets. Use those for taking wheels off and whatnot. Bumper jobs. Got extensions. And here, these are all my hammers and my pry tools. Uh, these, these ones are from Harbor Freight. I use those a lot. Like, I swear by this one. This one is a champ. It's my main one right here. Got my slide hammer. I don't use this here, I used it at Mako a lot. And then I got a couple hammers. Use this a lot. Used to use this a lot back at Mako. Got my dolly blocks. Got my slap spoon, as they call it. Got a pry bar. I got this really cool light. It kind of looks like a tripod. I've never used it before. It was a gift. And my last and final drawer. Keep my lunchbox in here. Got miscellaneous bolts right here and then miscellaneous clips down there. Got my oil right there. Keep that away from the rest of my stuff in case it leaks. It's really grimy and nasty. Got a nice rubber mallet. Got a glue gun. A uh, heat gun. Got some cheeses. And then I got my stud welder gun in here.
Oh, and then in this little box right here, I like to keep these on hand. These are from hoods and fenders that come in brand new, and then obviously they are to be put on the car. I like to keep a little box of these in case I have to take a hood off or put on a hood alone. Stick them on the corners, and that way you don't damage the windshield, because that would be pretty bad if you did that. So I just kind of like to keep those on hand in case I need to do any of that. And that is pretty much it for my box. Oh, and then on the side here, you can plug up some of your tools or whatever. You got two USB ports, and then it plugs in. And I got one more thing to show you about my toolbox. Now this right here is my secret compartment. <laughs> I just keep a bunch of random stuff in here that I'm not ready to throw out. Nothing special. You can't keep too many things in here. It has to clear from here to here and then it can only be so tall. And then here in the back, and then obviously right here, it says you can't put anything there. It's kind of cool, but every time you want to open it, you got to gotta do this. Could have a drill and drill bit fits here, and then you can open it up much quicker. But 